And to combat suicide rates, the topic was highlighted at a Boise festival today on mental health awareness. Reporter Tammy Scardino has the details. Anyone thinking about ending their life may feel alone. But they're not. For Jessica Tukey, depression and suicidal thoughts so consumed her before she finally pursued a career she was truly passionate about. I realized, oh my gosh, well that's why I felt this way my whole life was because I wasn't being who I truly am. As an artist, she now helps others through dark times with her Words Matter exhibit. Each portrait is of someone who's a victim of suicide or has had their own struggles. As their stories are read, Jessica says lives have been saved. Several speakers took to the stage at the Indigo Art and Poetry Festival, including a woman leading the way in emotional intelligence education. Teaching the youth how to cope with the ups and downs in life is a trend nationwide. She suggests parents start working on this early on. We want them to be able to recognize their feelings, how they're feeling, and we want them to be able to direct their feelings in a positive outcome. Jessica has teamed up with the greater nonprofit that hosts monthly meetings. Their mission is to fight the stigma surrounding emotional struggles so people can reach their full potential. I don't want to be the face with the story that travels around with people. I want to be able to share my story personally. And if I had gone through with my plans, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Tammy Scardino, six on your side. Jessica is raising funds to take her Words Matter art exhibit on the road beyond the Gem State's borders. For more information, head to sixonyourside.com. And now, a look at your forecast.